imagine it's 1400 years ago and it's the 9th of Muharram and you're in the camp of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So in the camp on the 9th of Muharram, you see a lot of people leaving him because they know that the next day is going to be Ashura. So now Ashura comes and you come up to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and you say to him, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, I'm here to serve you. What would you like me to do? And you can pick yourself, he says to you, you can pick yourself where you'd like to help him. So you can go and get water with Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam. You can help fight in the army of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. You could play with the other children to keep them happy while their parents have gone to fight in the war. What would you want to do on that day? I would be I would be serving him water. No, so you'd no. want to so you'd want to go and get water for them. Okay. Now imagine you go to school in the morning and you come home from school and you're mom and dad open the door and you come inside the house and you see your mom and dad running around the house one of them's trying to get fruit one of them's trying to make tea and it looks to you like you have a guest that's come to your house so you ask your dad who's come to see us and your dad says he hasn't come to see us he's come to see you so you say who is it where is he where's my guest then your dad says he's in the living room so you come to the living room, you open the door, you run into the living room and you see sitting on the chair is Imam Hussain alayhi salam. What would you say to him in that moment? What would you want to hear from him? I'll say salam alaikum to him. The first step and then I would like him to answer back um, what would I like him to answer back? Alaikum salam. What would you talk about with Imam Hussain alayhi salam? I'll speak to him about how the religion has been spread, spreading around the world. What, what else would you say to him? What would you want to hear from him? I would, hear, I, I would want to hear from him that I am happy to hear that. So you'd want him to say that he's happy with you? Would you want him to say he's happy with your mom, with your dad, yeah. with your sister as well? Yes. What do you think makes him happy? Um, that um, the, the religion of Islam has been spreading even that, even that it's been for so many years has existed. Okay. Now, at the beginning, mm -hmm. I asked you about 1400 years ago. So, so many years ago. And I said to you, where would you like to help? And I gave you some examples. Yeah. And I of what to... happened on that day and you chose to go and get the water. Yes. And that was helping your third Imam, Imam Hussein My great granddad. Your great granddad. In this day and age, we have an Imam as well, Imam Mehdi. He's not among us and he's not here with us in person. So in a way, we have the choice of how we want to help him. Because he's not here to say, for example, Abusi, go and get this for me, or go and fix this, or do this for me. So you have a choice of how you want to help him. How would you like to help him? What would you like to do for him? I would like to help him by... 
You can be nice to your parents, you can be nice to your family, you can yeah, give in charity. Can I, can, I can help the charity and the orphans. What do you think he wants from you? To be a better person. How to be a better person? By helping other people. Does it matter if they're Muslim or not? No. How would you be able to help someone? What, what can you do? By paying them all my charity. Oh